contribution by the Godrej Aerospace towards the Indian aerospace industry and several key missions like the Chandrayaan or the Mangalyaan or even its contribution to the DRDO has been immense. We speak today with Mr. Bairam Kamdin, who is the AVP and the business head at Godrej Aerospace. Uh, sir, firstly, I'd like to understand from you that why is it such a big day and what all has been put on display? Uh, the big day is on 14th, uh, where the Chandrayaan would uh, go up and uh, make us all proud. But definitely it will take a month to finally know the results on whenever it lands on the moon in August, maybe 23rd or 24th as is announced. So definitely we look forward to not only on 14th, but what happens on 23rd and 24th. Uh, what we are displaying here are parts of the similar engine which has now been uh, integrated to the stages and it's ready to take off on 14th. Uh, and our contribution has been to supply hardware for the three engines, the two L110 uh, Vikas engine and the uh, C20 cryogenic stage. And over and above that we have supplied components for uh, thrusters which will take the Chandrayaan into the orbit and maybe land uh, successfully on the moon. So personally, apart from the Make in India bid, uh, also, how proud are you feeling uh, leading the Godrej Aerospace Division because Godrej is the only private company to be associated with the DRDO? Uh, definitely very proud uh, movement, not only for me, but entire organization. We have been associated with uh, ISRO and DRDO for the last 30 years now. We have made several uh, products and uh, some of them uh, are flying, like for example, our engines or the defense parts, what we make are flying and uh, a lot of success has been achieved by the country. Some of us are now getting exported also to uh, various other countries, friendly countries. So definitely uh, it's a commitment uh, which was given by our uh, founders and uh, Mr. Godrej to the government and uh, that is being continued. So I also want to quickly take a quick look at the kind of parts that are being put on display behind you. If you can just uh, jog us through in terms of what is what and give a brief uh, description. All the parts what you see here are parts of our uh, space engines, whether it is the C20 engine or a Vikas engine or a thruster. These are all parts which are like fuel pumps, turbines, uh, impellers, uh, exhaust cones. So all this put together become a full engine. Uh, we integrate uh, it semi-integrated over here. Uh, certain tests which are available with us are done, the flow test, the environmental test, uh, all that is done here in Godrej. All the cold tests we do here uh, so that we supply a, a proper engine. All the quality checks uh, we are done here with our engineers certifying it and finally the ISRO engineers who are stationed here are certifying it. And then uh, it gets, uh, uh, gets on to LPSC where they integrate the full engine and uh, give it to uh, uh, Sri Harikota for you know, putting it onto the stage and creating the whole vehicle. Sir, uh, with these uh, these parts behind and also the, the cones that have been displayed behind, so would it be fair uh, to say that Godrej is involved in about easily 30% of making the rocket uh, or, or uh, for one of these key missions like the Mangalyan or the Chandrayaan, what kind of contribution? 20%, 30%, 40%? I would say as far as the engines is concerned, we would contribute close to about 70% for the engines. Uh, I wouldn't uh, vouch for the whole craft because the whole craft has uh, many components including electronics, avionics. So that is actually the uh, major, uh, but without engines, there is no mission. So I would say 100% um, our contribution is there. Uh, if, if there is no engine, then whatever you make is uh, useless. So. Definitely, it's a very proud moment for us to be associated with uh, such important missions and of course, every mission is important to us, uh, whether it's Chandrayaan or just putting some satellites into space. Uh, so, also we see that in the aerospace industry, you are associated with some very uh, big names like the Rolls-Royce uh, or the GE or the Boeing. In what capacity do you work with them? Uh, we are uh, suppliers for various uh, components to engine uh, manufacturers like Rolls-Royce, GE and uh, uh, Boeing, of course, uh, we are supplying certain uh, uh, actuating actuating parts. So we are just entered into the segment. It's a very uh, new business for us. We started only in 2016-17, and then two years of pandemic actually happened and uh, derailed a lot of things. But now it's picking up. Uh, India is really a, uh, becoming an aerospace uh, major with so many aircrafts coming in, and we look forward to the supply chain really developing and. Uh, we playing a major part into engine segment especially 
uh, because our focus is on engines. Uh, association with ISRO has given us a lot of boost into knowing the alloys, knowing the material. We can work with inconel, titanium, aluminum, any pi any kind of an alloy. So all these things go into the aircraft engine also. So we definitely want to pitch and uh, be a major player into engine segment of the aerospace industry. Right. So while it is uh, clearly very evident that the government immensely trusts you uh, to deliver for key space missions uh, that are great ma the matter of great pride for our country as well. And despite the pandemic, uh, Godrej Aerospace continues to do well. But uh, w would you say that the government really uh, uh, trusts you uh, day after day to deliver all of this on time with accurate efficiency and keeping the latest updated technology in mind? So we are investing into new technologies, new machineries uh, uh, for for the aerospace sector, not only for space but also for defense. Uh, definitely, uh, the trust which we have with the associated with the name, uh, whether it is only for engines or for any of our products, uh, is something which uh, is very uh, close to us, to all our employees, to all the from top to the bottom, and definitely uh, that is something which is non-negotiable. So in 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 Godrich. So that is our culture. That is our uh, ethos, and we, we definitely we cannot give up on that. Right. So lastly, before we close, if you can just uh, quickly take us uh, through uh, what these three major components, very heavy looking materials, are like. These are all alloys of steel, uh, uh, which are uh, rolled, uh, welded into uh, exhaust cones, uh, thrusters, as we call it, and these are the uh, final. Uh, uh, exhaust for any engine. So what you see behind you is uh, for the Vikas engine. On the left is for the CE20 engine. And uh, this, this, uh, the cryogenic engine has got certain channels with, through which you know the fuel would flow and uh, cool it and then uh, create exhaust. So these all parts for uh, a similar engine which will be fired on 20 on 14. Right. Uh, thank you very much, sir. While we continue to hope that you will work very closely with the government and make our nation proud and continue to remain an indigenous uh, uh, manufacturing facility. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much. That was Mr. Be uh, Manik Behram Kamdin, the AVP and the business head at Godrej Aerospace, quickly uh, telling our channel in terms of what these uh, proponents are or what these uh, key parts are that are used in key space missions like uh, Chandrayaan and Mangalyaan and Godrej's close association with the ISRO or the DRDO. And also, if we can show you one quick look in terms of what the cones and these key proponents are that are used in rocket projects with cameraman Siddesh Dev Kotak for India today. Bye bye.